just came up like throwing a switch. More than 15 inches of snow and drifts up to 20 feet. You could walk and your footprints would lead as you walked. You would you look behind and there would be no footprints where you walked. Winds howled up to 50 miles an hour. Terrifying, extremely terrifying. Temperatures dropped to zero with wind chills at 30 below. An excellent description of these three or four days. It was a time standing still and the only thing moving was the wind and the snow. And you just had to wait. You, you weren't going to go out and fight it. Monty Russell lived in Pittsburgh during the blizzard of 1978. He says his newspaper clippings, pictures, and stories don't do this storm justice. If you weren't there, you didn't experience it. They just don't think it's as severe as you might describe. Two guys that were there, Wish TV anchor Mike Ahern and weatherman Stan Wood. When I was uh, in the Army in Korea during the war, we were immobilized by a Manchurian blizzard, and uh, we saw the same signs beginning here, so I figured... This is going to do something to the metro area and the outlying areas, too. So, of course, we all mobilized, and we stayed on the air all night. They got together on the 25th anniversary to remember their 67 straight hours of coverage. What really was extraordinary about that is people were so thankful that someone was there to, to reassure them that there was an existence outside that snowbank. A lot of people were snowed in at the time. My own neighbors less than 100 feet away didn't see me for four days. The storm was so fierce it shut down the Indianapolis airport for three days, stranded 200 passengers on an Amtrak train, and the National Guard was brought in to get to those needing help and keep the peace. It's been characterized as the 100-year storm. In other words, that kind of a blizzard you are not likely to encounter more than once every 100 years. While last February storm also reached blizzard criteria, for those that remember the storm of January 78, it's not even close.